so hey guys today we will be solving another problem so this time we are going to take a relatively easier problems and try to solve as much as possible the problem code is for 59a you can also try it and see if you are not able to solve then you can see my solution Basically, the question is something like this. So on this coordinate axis, we know that the coordinate of this input format is x1 y and x2 y2. So one point is here, another point is at here. So we need to find these two points so that it becomes a square. So for this case, the answer will be. 1 comma 0 1 comma 1 which means it's here ok so now let's see for the other example one point is here another point is here so we need to figure out these points ok so this is one point so we also find in the last one, one point is here, another point is here, 1 comma 2, but this is minus 1, since there is no square possible as the dimension, this is, would be definitely of size 1, this would be of size 2, so let's see how can we develop an approach. So there are two cases, there are basically I think three cases that we could be given adjacent vertices or opposite or some invalid vertices. So the case of invalid is pretty simple I think. For invalid vertices, hmm, how can we check? Let's see. So I think this case is easy. In which, in this x2 minus x1 equal to y2 minus y1. In this case, this point is 0, 1, this point is 0, 0. So if x1 equal to x2 or y1 equal to y2, then also things become easier for us. Okay. So I think there are multiple answers here. If there is no solution, then we have to put minus one. Otherwise, print four separate space in this corresponding. If there are several solution, you can output any one. Okay, so we can output any one. So this case is handled. This case is also done. In this case, so if none of this is valid, then it's just minus one. We have to split. So now let's see how can we code it. So for input we will give an x1 y1 and x2 y2 right let's see the input format x1 y1 x2 y2 ok so now we have the input so let's check the condition in this order only equal to y x2 that means we are on the same so we will get the side as um, if x1 equal to equal to x2 then side would be x1 equal to x2 then side would be y2 
Coordinate is difference. X is increasing by one. This is one, and these are also one. And the y coordinate remains the same. Okay, so this is fine. Then similarly, let's move this for y one equals to y two. Let's copy this. This will remain almost exactly same. I think. So this will be the next one minus x two. Please. This will remain the same. So then this will remain the same and this will be given. Okay. Let's just confirm this case also. So it's given that <coughs> y1 equals to y2. So this means that we are given something like these two points and absolute difference would be the difference one and we are absolute adding positive side so it would be somewhat like this so our answer would come like x and y would remain same 0 and 1 and y3 would become y1 plus 1 so it would become 0 comma 2 and it would be coming 1 comma 3 1 comma 2 so that's also fine because we can print any of them so this case is handled now let's work on this x1 equal to x2 and no, x1 equal to x2 x2 minus x1 rather than that let's take absolute we can take absolute of absolute of what we need okay so x2 minus x1 minus x1 equal to equal to y2 minus y1 so this means the sides are same as this case so in this uh, how do we do it uh, let's see here only so x2 0 comma 0 and we can 0 comma 1 so let's first find this point this would be y3 x3 y3 so x3 would be equals to x1 and y3 would be equals to y2. Okay, and similarly x4 would be equals to x2, x2, right? And y4 would be equals to x, y1. So okay, so now let's just confirm this also. 1, 1, this is fine. So this one y3 becomes x1 and y coordinate of this this becomes x coordinate of x coordinate of this and y coordinate of this so this is also fine and else we have to just let's also take this only on k equal to 1 so k equal to 0 k 
Okay, control, control, zero. Then we will proceed up minus one. And the time is zero per minute. And there we do not put which format do we have to give the output. Let's see what x1, x3 and what is x3, x3 and x3, x4, y4. Now let's run this on this example and see. Some spaces in between. test so now let's see where it will fail now this will be we see which test will be fail so we will click to see the test details ok so answer is minus 1 Yes, it should not be minus one. Let's see this place. Let's just draw this first. Because this is where it exceeds. So that minus hundred. This plus hundred. This hundred. One point is here. Other point is at hundred and minus hundred here. Right. Okay, so this should not be minus one. So why is it not coming in any case? So minus one hundred is not coming minus one hundred. So now let's see our code and check. So I think it should come in this case. So our x1 is minus 100, y1 is 100, x2 is 100, y2 is minus 100. So x2 minus x1 is 200 and y2 minus y1 is minus 200. Okay, so this is the error. So here we need to take the absolute, I think. Yes, we need to take the absolute. Here also. Let's just run that same case. This time it should not give minus one, I think I should. Okay, this is the output. Let's compare it with the correct. This is correct. So now let's retry to submit this problem again. This time it should get accepted. And it's submitted. It's in queue. It's on anyone to 68. It's struck somewhere. And it's accepted. So great. So I was able to solve it on the second attempt. I'm sure I was able to share the approach. If you are having any doubt, you can comment below and share below your approach and how much. Was you did you also fail in your first attempt? So thank you.